Hi everybody, my name is Colin Cecil. I'm, I'm a foreign exchange student from Minnesota and I'm in Australia to finish my certificate 11 year at school. So, so I thought we'd start the segment Colin's Corner with uh, a few fun facts about me uh, just so you can get to know me a little bit better and so I can get to know you a little bit better too. So fun fact number one, uh, my real name is Colin Cecil, and that's um, what my parents. So I thought it'd be really cool to have like CC as my name, uh, and they my my dad wanted to call me Cecil, but my mom wanted to call me Colin, and my mom's got a really strong personality, so she um, she convinced my dad to uh, have Colin as my first name. Fun fact number two, my favorite movie is Alien. Uh, the the first one, not not the new ones. I don't I don't like them very much. And I think aliens are real. Fun fact number three. Fun fact number four is I'm I'm very stylish. I like I like to wear um, like vests and and button ups because I feel like it really expresses my personality and it lets me show the other kids at school that I'm. I'm I'm a lot cooler than than I think because um, because I have to wear these glasses to see because they're a prescription and I thought if I wore something like this I I I could kind of balance it out a bit so so that they would see the glasses and go oh but then they see the clothes and go oh yeah he's he's a pretty cool guy that Colin that Colin Thessel and then the last fun fact for today is um, I don't I don't trust doors. I don't think, I don't think anybody should. Tr um, I don't think I think doors are more of a recent invention, and I think things like escalators came before stairs, um, and things like that. I just think that in technology, we we've advanced to the stage where stairs are more advanced than escalators in other in other places. But I think that doors were an original invention, and so they're. They're, they're, you can't trust them. So that was, that was five <laughs> facts about Colin Cecil uh, in this segment of Colin's Corner. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk today about the Mandela Effect. I'm just trying, I'm trying to find some of my computers. I, I don't, I don't want to go to BuzzFeed because that was the first one that showed up. And I don't think... I think everybody knows those ones, uh, and I, I know heaps more than that. But I just I want to make sure that my facts are correct, because I don't want you guys thinking that I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look. The Titanic didn't actually sink by hitting an iceberg. Now I know what you're thinking. It's been in films. It's been in books. It's been in other places, and it's got to be real. It didn't sink because of the iceberg. The problem was when there was an iceberg. There was I'm not saying there stop. There was an iceberg, but it wasn't because of the iceberg. Okay, the iceberg is not to blame here. We do not blame the iceberg. It is innocent. The boiler room had issues. It had a lot of issues. Okay, it had malfunctions even before it left the port apparently, and they it wasn't fit to sail even by. The captain standards, oh, but we're not the captain was until body. they were failing. So what happened was, when they saw the iceberg, they could have turned with plenty of because they saw it in time. The people who saw it, they saw it in time. But because of the boiler room, it made the engine slower, which made the gears slower, which meant that when you turn the wheel, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't work good. It's bad. So because of this, because of bad checks before they left, it hit the iceberg, okay, it was the ship's fault, what about the iceberg? Nobody remembers the iceberg because they just think it's the villain in this situation, but I think it's actually the boiler room that caused the ship to hit the iceberg, and, and I think there's a second side to the story, and there should be a second film with Leonardo DiCaprio 
at, on the ice, at the iceberg and the story of him when the ship hits it. So that's something for you to ponder. Uh, also that, that last fact about the boiler room, I, it, hasn't, it hasn't been cited anywhere before. Um, it's kind of, it's, uh, I, I know it happened myself, but it, other people haven't written about it, so it may, it may not be true to some, but it's true to me, and, it, and I, it may, it may not be a true fact is what I'm, is what I'm getting at, but I think it's, I think it's a cool theory, so, that's why I'm going with it. Well, hopefully I'll see you guys around, um, the lighting's pretty bad, I've got, I've got a little lamp in front of me here, so, if, um, what about, it's a bit dim now, but I guess that's a little spook here. So if I, oh, oh, maybe I, I, I doesn't seem to want to turn on at the moment. So we're just gonna, we're just, oh, there we go. So if I lift it up and without touching. Okay, thank you for watching the video, guys. I right, thank you so much, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. Nobody's gonna watch conspiracy theories with Colin's death, honestly.